In this tutorial we'll take a look at how to make a recon photo in IL-2. I want to take a recon photo of this enemy base here, so I'm going to stick a static camera over the top of the space, put the height at 5000 meters, and we'll close that window and go into 3D view to take a screenshot. Uh, any angle is OK, I'm going to make it right there, just using print screen is OK. Using fraps is a little easier, but um, we'll do it this way just to keep it simple. Uh, the only other thing I want to do here is to line up north so I can put north on the uh, recon photo. So there's a line the end of this runway and just halfway between the tarmac and that island there will be good enough <laughs> for me, OK? So I'll use uh, that as uh, an indication for north. So uh, that's all in the FMB. The next thing is in paint.net. I'll see you there in just a moment. OK, we're in paint.net and I'm going to just go edit paste. Paste into new image. And just increase the size here. This is where uh, using fraps is just a little bit better because uh, we don't need to do this cropping but uh, I'm going to use the selection tool let's move that out of the way and crop this here and that's image crop to selection uh, let's increase the size a little and what I want to do is make some adjustments so we'll go adjustments black and white adjustments sepia uh, adjustments, hue and saturation. Uh, I'm no like graphics expert or anything, so just have a fiddle with these uh, values. I won't do much here, but just uh, hue and saturation can uh, improve things just a little. And next, I go to effects and noise. That's obviously way too much, but uh, again, just have a fiddle with uh, what what works well. Uh, that'll do it. And another one that can be useful is there we go photo and glow but just a little or even like that it's not too bad I'm gonna leave it right there so uh, what we have is a basic uh, recon photo that looks at least a little bit like uh, an old old photo so the next step is to add some annotations and what we're gonna do is go to the let's bring this over go to the ellipse tool here and my HE-111s are over there. I'm going to put them there. Actually, sorry, I'm just going to go back. What I need to do is to make a new layer. So I'm going to add a layer, double click there to rename it, and we'll just call this oops, annotation, annotations. So with the ellipse tool, I'm going to put a circle around the HE-111s and mark them in a minute, and the same with ME-109s down there. The 20mm uh, flak was over in this area and the 88mm AA is over here. So to give those some text we're going to make the... I will make this... Um, yeah, these are the HE-111s and that's OK. I'm going to change that actually. We want just a little bit smaller, 10 point and courier font. Okay, so we're going to make those HE-111s, and down here is the ME-109s. Uh, we're going to make our primary target, these 88s, so we're going to put over here, primary. And 88mm AA. And secondary. Which is our 20mm a bit of an AA busting mission this one, and uh, is I okay, actually that that'll do. I'll leave it there. Uh, the other thing is the north, right? So this is just a little bit funny doing this. So I'm going to add another layer, just a temporary layer. I'm going to draw a line between we said halfway between the tarmac and that island, and through that end of the runway. I'm going to add another layer, and this is going to be the permanent layer, which I'm going to call North. 
and I'm going to get what do I want? the style with the arrow and just straight over there, this is going to be my north arrow and I'm going to go back to layer 3 and delete it, that was that long line just delete Stop. Oh, ok, there we go so you to use that button button down there and I'll stick, uh, go back to the text and I'll stick an N for north up there, we can move those around if we need to ok, so uh, this is obviously a very quick example but what we've got is a simple looking recon photo we can mark it as we like and paint.net is a pretty wicked program for doing this so, and it's free so that's all, that's the end of the tutorial uh, the next step for me is to print this out and use it in my missions. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. This is Flying Nutcase wishing you a very nice day.